technology officer at One Laptop for Child Foundation, and we're here with our XO3 tablet. Lovely, so can you tell me a little bit about it? Sure, um, we've been working on this for a while. Uh, it's really sort of a natural evolution of the work we've done with our uh, XO laptop uh, over the past five years. Uh, it's a 8-inch display. It's designed for kids like all of our devices are. Uh, it's designed to be low cost, low power, rugged, durable, but designed for kids to be able to create, learn, and experiment. Oh, what, what kind of CPU does it have? Uh, this is built around the Marvell Armada 610. Uh, it's an ARM system on chip design. One of the things that we did with our tablet designs, the same thing we did with our laptop designs, is move from an x86 in the laptop to an ARM processor in the laptop. Mm -hmm. uh, that was really an important step for us to be able to get to a low, low power uh, uh, design. We really moved from a 4 watt laptop to a 2 watt laptop by doing that. And so we've got a 2 watt tablet that really not only uses low power, but uses power very efficiently. So you can plug all kinds of funky power into this. And whether you've got whether you've got a hand crank or you've got a solar panel or any other device, you can charge this rather than having a, a, a 12.0 volt dedicated charger that you have to get from the manufacturer. So you can make electricity, we can use it. So can you, can you tell me how long you need to charge it or hand crank it for uh, hours use on the tablet? Well, again, it depends on the, your input. The, the hand crank is actually about a 10 to 1 ratio. Okay. You crank for about 6 minutes, you get an hour's use out of it. Awesome. One of the things that we do, and the hand crank is, is, is handy, and that's a, a, an important tool, but it's really more of an example of the kind of tools you can use. There's actually a great, I, I wish I had a, a photograph of it, uh, some folks in Afghanistan to charge our laptop took one of these and they hooked it up to an old-fashioned uh, treadle sewing machine, mm -hmm. where you power it with your feet, mm -hmm. so you could sit at the desk typing on your laptop and you could power it by stepping on the foot treadle with your feet. And can you tell me about the Sugar OS? Um, well, the operating system is Linux. Okay, so Sugar is a desktop environment that sits on top of it. It's a Fedora Linux distribution underneath. And some of our laptop users use Fedora as a GNOME desktop. Some use Sugar. Uh, that's an option we're bringing forward to the tablet. So you can use a Sugar environment. You can use Android on it if you'd like. Um, you really, it, you know, it's going to depend on the the audience for places like Uruguay, Peru, Rwanda. They have a very large investment in our laptops already, mm -hmm. and they've developed activities, they've developed their own applications. They want to be able to see those continue to use on the tablet. For some place that, that that this would be a new experience, then you might want to say, well, we're going to do something with Android and do something entirely different. Can you give us a, an, an example of some of the software that this is running? Uh, well, we, we have some of our older applications. We've also added a couple of uh, just just quick demos. One of the things that's nice about this environment is it's very easy to, to put together a quick demo to, to teach kids how to use uh, teach kids fractions by having a little ball bounce game. Uh, although I think I need to talk to the developer and have them make the ball a little heavier and gravity a little stronger. Uh, <laughs> take too long. But it's just you know, a simple little example of the kind of thing that you can do on the tablet with the, you know, it has a three axis accelerometer to, to, to let you do that. We also, because a lot of our uh, kids are offline a lot of the time, uh, it's important to us to have a lot of content that works really well when you're not on the net. And we've added, we've done this with our, our laptop, we're doing it with the tablet as well, uh, provide what we call Wikipedia slices, okay. or a subset of Wikipedia, this is a Spanish version, uh, that gives you an article, in this case about stars, um, you can go back home and read about agriculture, uh, to read something, maybe by the end of the show I'll have read all the articles, uh, and so we give children a lot of educational content. We also give all of our uh, deployments an opportunity. They have all the tools they need to create their own content and create their own. And this is going to come with a rear-facing camera and can you tell me about some of the other ports that it has? 
Uh, yeah, the one thing we added after this model was a rear facing and a front okay. facing camera. Um, it's got a USB on the go port, which you can use for connecting peripherals and also for charging it. We, we, you know, this this kind of charging you would only do through the dedicated power port, but if you've got a cell phone charger, you've got something that can do a USB charger, you can use that too. Uh, headphone and microphone ports. Uh, it does have a power button, you can turn it off. Uh, Full-size USB port. Uh, you know, sneaker net is really important to us, and so every these all have full-size USB connectors on them. So a lot of kids will use these. Uh, microphone and uh, full-size charging port as well. And I know that price point will depend on uh, volume of order, but do you have a rough estimate? Uh, it depends on volume of order. And, and also, one of the things that we're doing with the tablet that's a little different than the laptop is we're giving people a lot of choices. Mm -hmm. They can make decisions about how big a battery do they want, how much battery life do they need, uh, do they want a pixel key or a conventional display. So they have a lot, of, a, a lot of different choices. Perfect. Thanks so much for taking the time. Okay. Thanks.